Hello and welcome to the Fly-By-Wire Ground School. In this episode, I will be guiding you through the cold and dark startup procedure for the A320neo. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to be doing for our cockpit preparation is flipping the parking brake switch to off. Make sure the speed brakes are retracted and disarmed. Make sure to check that the weather radar is off. And also make sure that the flaps are retracted. Check if the engine masters 1 and 2 are off. Make sure that the engine mode selector is set to norm. Make sure your thrust levers are idle. Now head on up to the main panel to make sure that the landing gear lever is down. Now in the overhead panel, make sure that the wipers are off. Now start battery 1 and wait for the double chime. Then start battery 2. Make sure there is no white lights on the two push buttons. If the external power push button has the green veil light on it, click on the push button to give power to the aircraft. Turn on the crew oxygen supply. Then switch the three Adir switches to nav. Set the overhead integrated lights as required. Turn on the navigation lights. Set the strobe light switch to auto. Turn on the seatbelt signs. And set the no smoking sign to auto. Arm the emergency exit lights. And set the probe's window heat to auto. Rotate the three air conditioning temps as required. Make sure that the landing elevation is set to auto. Make sure there are no white lights on the hydraulic panel. Turn the fuel pumps on and make sure there are no white lights. Perform a test on the APU fire. Hold the test button for a minimum of 5 seconds. All lights must be on. Perform a test on both engine 1 and 2 fire. Hold the test button for a minimum of 5 seconds. All lights must be on. On the main panel, raise the brightness of the ISIS display and set the current Q&H. On the RMP1, set the ATIS frequency to the active and set the ground frequency to standby. On the glare shield, set the barometer for the EFIS. Activate the flight director. Check the fuel on the ECAM page. If you require more fuel, call the fuel truck. And that concludes this chapter. We'll see you next time when we talk about the taxi and take off. Be sure to visit our social media and join the Fly-By-Wire Discord server.